runners love to run. So the question here is, do you have to stop running in heat like we're about to experience in parts of the country here? Dina Fine Marin is the associate editor of Health and Medicine for Scientific American, and she joins us now live to talk about a study. It's about the risk of heat stroke in runners. So what did we learn, uh, Dina? What do we know right off the top? Hi, thanks for having Hi. me. Hi. Yeah, so we, so we learned, although you may think with long distance runners that you should be thinking about heart health, actually heat stroke is a much greater risk. Researchers followed runners in Tel Aviv over seven years and found that the risk of heat stroke was 10 times that of a serious cardiac event. And that study was in the journal of the American College of Cardiology. Gotcha. So what are you, so are you saying to runners that they shouldn't be running in these conditions? Because I know they're not going to listen. So what do you do to help them in these conditions, you know? Yeah, you really have to take time to acclimate yourself to a serious workout in the hot weather. The researchers behind that study said you should take 10 to 14 days to acclimate yourself. But really, you have to know what your workout regimen is. Certainly, you shouldn't be pushing yourself to uh, have a particularly strenuous workout if you're not used to that kind of workout. And also, you need to be thinking about the heat advisories that day. And if you've been sick recently, you shouldn't be uh, pushing yourself to that level. So, you know, a lot of runners are all about the training and they're all about moving past the wall. So is there a, a way you can move past this heat wall, I guess? Can you train your way out of these problems with heat and do you build tolerance? You do build tolerance, uh, but really, again, it depends day by day what the heat advisory is. There are steps you can take to protect yourself, though. You should be wearing loose clothing. You should be making sure to hydrate before your go running. Actually, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend you have two to four glasses of water during a, an hour, pardon me, during these strenuous workouts during these days. So that's something to think about. But also, if you're uh, taking certain medications for mental illness or heart concerns, uh, you should be factoring that into uh, your planning. Oh yeah, big, big, big thing to factor in. And also, we just need runners to take those water breaks. Take them, because most courses will mm -hmm. present them. So, uh, Dina Fine Marin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You can read more from Scientific American in the July issue, and it's on newsstands right now. Check it out online at scientificamerican, that's what we do, dot com.